Jeff, I think it was five years ago when I was talking to you about how long you were going to do this, and you said you wanted to continue to do it so your kids could see you. Do they understand, appreciate what you're doing, you know, when, when they get to see you race? You know, I think the, the, the greatest experience I've had uh, in, in, at a racetrack in recent years and possibly ever was when I won the Brickyard 400 last year and, and Ingrid and the kids were there and we got to kiss the bricks together and, you know, just capture that moment uh, from video and, and photographs and, and the memories and, uh, that was the ultimate for me. So I'm so glad that I, I was able to do that and, and have that experience and probably help me make this decision uh, for this season. I thought I saw tears when uh, the family was kissing the bricks there. Absolutely. Uh, you know, there's nothing that uh, you know, makes me more proud to be a part of a race team and, and win a big race and have the people that you care about the most there. And, and it wasn't just Ingrid and the kids. My stepdad was there uh, as well, who, who really is pretty much responsible for all this happening. You want your son to be a race car driver? Uh, not necessarily. Um, you know, we've got a couple quarter midgets. It's, it's, you know, you can't, you can't be a part of our family or, or you know, just the NASCAR family and, and not at least uh, have your kids be influenced by it. Uh, so we've got a couple quarter midgets. My daughter's been driving a little bit, but, and we have one for, for my son uh, if he wants to get in it one day. But certainly no pressure. And as terrifying as it was that first time I saw my daughter drive a quarter <laughs> midget, I'm not, so, I'm not so sure I'm the parent that's cut out for it. What if your daughter said, Dad, this is what I want to do? I would introduce her to a whole <laughs> lot of other things and make sure she's sure about that. <laughs> she might say, Dad, can I talk to Danica Patrick? I want to talk to her about being you know, a race car driver. Uh, Danica has made a huge impact and has influenced racing in so many ways, especially with uh, girls. Uh, you know, we, we had uh, one, one of my daughter's classmates come to the Darlington race, and she just couldn't wait to see Danica and wanted to talk to her. And, and it's amazing the impact she has. And so there's no doubt that she's had that impact on, on Ella, our daughter, as well. What's the first thing to go on a race car driver? Your eyesight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I think, you know, I, I feel like most of the things that I've had over the years have stayed with me as far as the, the passion and the drive and the, the talent. Um, maybe a little bit, especially when, when you know, you get you get a little bit older, you see some of these young drivers out there, so you might, might not have quite the aggressiveness that, that you had at one time. But I think I think the, the patience and the experience you have kind of uh, pays off in that area. But my eyesight, yeah, I'm not, I, it, the consistency of hitting that that uh, pit sign each time on a pit stop just less <laughs> over the years. <laughs> Do you have contacts? I don't. You know, I, I so so I went and had my eyes checked when I was in first grade, like most kids do, and they said, "Yes, you need glasses." I had glasses. I went to the racetrack. I was racing at the time, quarter midgets, and the, the glasses were not working in the helmet. I'm like, I'm not wearing glasses. So it took me to get contacts. I put contacts in. My eyes were dried out and, and, and irritating me, and I said, I'm not wearing contacts. And I just stopped. I literally just stopped, and I've never worn glasses or contacts ever since. And I, together, my eyes are, are basically 20-20. If I close my left eye, I'm in huge trouble. But, <laughs> Don't uh, do that during a race. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, it's worked for me all these years. But I, I'm not sure how much longer it would work. Though. He's Jeff Gordon, four-time NASCAR champ, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. What's the one thing you'll miss about driving? Well, there's nothing greater than, than you know that that work that goes into creating a great team and, and going through a day like we had last year at the Brickyard 400, where where you win a race, especially a big race, and and you get to celebrate uh, that that moment. I, I remember when I first started uh, in the sport, we won our, our you know first, or maybe not my first race, but say like '95, we won six or seven races that year. About the fourth or fifth race, you're like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get home. You know, I can't wait to get home. Now I don't want to leave Victory Lane. I'm just taking every <laughs> second of it in and enjoying it. And now they're rushing me, saying, "Come on, we got to go a little bit faster." And I certainly, um, I, I, I will miss 
not just that experience, but but the effort that goes into it, because it is an amazing experience and very competitive. Will you miss going fast? No. No, going fast has never been it for me. It, it's always been about going faster than the person that you're racing <laughs> with and, and um, you know, pushing the limits of the car and, and finding out how you can go one hundredth of a second faster or uh, one tenth of a second faster. And, and to me, it's more the competition. And, and I, I really think that that's what I'm going to bring with me to, to the uh, broadcast booth next year when, when I'm with Fox is I'm going to be competitive with myself of trying to improve every time I, I'm there calling a race. You do fantasy football? I do. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm luckily I have some, some teammates that do our lineup and help us do our draft, but, uh, I, I do it. Uh, I'm, I'm not the person that knows every stat and detail and player, but I, I certainly, every Sunday I get home from the racetrack and I can't wait to see how my fantasy team's done. Have you ever been updated during a race about your fantasy team? <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, I, Earn, Earnhardt said I he had ha- been. If I was having a really bad day and, and we were, you know, a wrecked car several laps down and somebody had some good news for me with my fantasy <laughs> team, I, yes, I would encourage that. Earnhardt said he has been uh, updated, I think, during a caution. That, um, well, the some- problem with him is it take a, it take a whole caution for him to get updated on all the different <laughs> fantasy teams he's on. If I said you could drive any car, Right now, pick a car. What car? Uh, yeah, well, it'd be a Formula One car. I'd, I'd like to drive a, uh, you know, I love driving race cars, and I think the ultimate race car is, you know, from a driving experience would be a, a Formula One car. I've had a chance to do it several years ago, uh, and it was, it was amazing. I'd just love to see what, uh, what those cars are like today. But would you like to do that for, for a real race? No, I, I think, you know, to me, I'm too competitive. And, and if I didn't feel like I could be uh, competitive and put the time and the effort into it, then I don't, I don't think that uh, it's something that I would want. I respect those competitors far too much, and I don't want to go out there and look silly. How many uh, tattoos, the number 24 tattoos, have you seen over the years? <laughs> More than I could ever imagine. Uh, Is there an crazy. odd one that you've seen? Oh yeah, there's there's a woman out there. I've tweeted this picture uh, one time where she has um, about three different paint schemes in my race car over the years uh, uh, down her back. I mean, large all the way across her back with championship trophies and number twenty four. I mean, it's it's extensive. Oh, I got it here. Oh my god, <laughs> he's got it. I love it. You found it. Does she love you more than your wife does? <laughs> In a different way, yes. <laughs> Your wife doesn't have a, a number 24 tattoo, does she? No, thank God. <laughs> hey, it's great to catch up with you and uh, have fun these uh, final couple of weeks there. And, um, you know, obviously, hopefully get a chance to ride off in the sunset in style. I uh, would love that, Dan. Thank you. Great to be on the show.